Arc Nova has been taking the board gaming world by storm. It currently sits number four in the hotness list on Board Game Geek. Come along and find out what's inside today on Legendary Tactics. So we're taking a look at Arc Nova today. And uh, the box, first off, by looking at it uh, right off the hop, is a really big box. Uh, I'm looking at uh, uh, really nice, heavy, it, there's a lot of weight to it. Uh, the pictures, the artwork on it is pretty sharp and clear. Uh, it is a uh, 14 plus for players, one to four gamers, uh, and, and the suggested time for it is about 90 to uh, 150 minutes. And uh, it looks, uh, looks. I've been really, really excited to get into this game. So uh, let's uh, let's get that cellophane off and uh, let's take a look here. So I did notice that uh, it's uh, uh, it currently sits at an 8.7 rating on the on the Geek, and uh, it is currently uh, ranked number four overall uh, as a strategy and overall rank for the whole Geek number seven, which is pretty unbelievable. Uh, and I see it sitting number four on the hotness list, so that uh, that gives it a fair bit of credibility. It's been one that uh, I've been eyeing up for a while now and wanting to look at. So uh, yeah, it was, I finally just got it uh, delivered, and I thought we should uh, take a look at what's inside. So here we go, the great unveiling. So right off the hop, we've got uh, it looks like uh, there's four uh, the four different player chits there. Uh, one thing that I absolutely love that games do is provide baggies, and uh, Arc Nova does not disappoint here. It has baggies in spades, which uh, that is just awesome for you know keeping cards separated, uh, different tokens separated, whatever you need, uh, you've got the bags for it. So that is awesome. Uh, you got your yellow, blue, black, and red player components there, handy along with uh, various meeples and tokens you'll need for the game. Uh, also, you cannot forget uh, we've, uh, the silicone pack there. Keep the game nice and fresh. I don't see that in a lot of games, but time to time, that's good to have. So uh, we'll start off with the rules here. We'll just dive into the rules real quick and uh, take a look. Nice artwork on the out outer and some, some good details here on the inside. It starts off with components. Uh, gives you a good overlay of the different tiles there. Uh, I love when it has table of contents uh, and uh, sort of can, you can navigate your way through the rules uh, fairly speedily when it has things like that. Uh, smaller text uh, and, and type font uh, gives you a good setup guide though right off the hop. Uh, it has uh, so then that gets into gameplay and how you're going to uh, navigate the gameplay and then what a turn looks like the five action turn cards uh, then it has I like the color cording there with cards and it has uh, the build with the, the blue and the pink highlighting different options this is kind of a handy feature the animal card layout uh, numbered and then of course the numbering corresponding to uh, different parts of the card you're looking at so that's always a really handy um, you, yeah, you know that's pa a page that might get earmarked in my uh, in my rule book going forward though we've got the association board here so another board that'll be uh, very relevant to the gameplay and then uh, examples of course of different uh, ways to play uh, we've got uh, another, uh, the, the color coordinating with more examples. And uh, 19 pages in total with the 20th page, of course, being a solo game variant uh, setup and uh, turn play, gameplay. And even it has difficulty levels there, which is pretty cool there. So you've got uh, the, for the solo challenge, you can actually change difficulty rating on that. So that's neat. A pretty uh, succinct, it looks like, uh, rule book. I'll be diving into that at a, uh, very, very in, in short order here. They have a glossary here. Uh, and those are always kind of nice uh, for, for games to include. Uh, just uh, quick little uh, Cole's notes there on, uh, you know, different things that might come up. What I did notice is that there's a series of numbers, and I am fairly confident that those numbers are going to be corresponding to different card events. It looks like if you see it says there the conservation project clarification. So cards 113 to 122 release into the wild. Uh, then you have down you have uh, 123 to 227, 127, the breeding program, etc. etc. 
So that is seems like it might be extremely helpful uh, for animal ability clarifications and uh, and just things to uh, bear in mind when you are in the middle of gameplay. So you may want to keep that handy. Uh, now another very handy tool. This guy it's nice and uh, actually a, a thicker cardstock. It's the icon overview. So. I often find it frustrating. One of my pet peeves with some games is that there's no easy reference of all the t different icons you're having to look at. So on one page here, front to back, you've got everything you'll need. And as you play, of course, you'll get a little more uh, proficient at what those icons entail. Uh, here, of course, is the, uh, the, board, the first board that you have. Um, nice thick cardstock. Uh, good quality there. I'm impressed with uh, the thickness. Uh, it has a nice shine to it. Looks good. There are a series of these player boards, right? And again, they are a little, a, li a thicker cardstock, but not as uh, not 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 the cardboard variety, but uh, uh, definitely has have have a nice uh, texture and uh, good good durability there for sure. So there are, I'm at I think I believe six. And there's two more to go. Seven and eight different card uh, player board options. And just flipping it over real quick, there's also back options as well. So these are going to be uh, very interesting to uh, break down and look at at a later date. Uh, as I'm uh, getting into, and you know, hopefully trying them all out. That would be awesome. So those are the player mats. There is a... Uh, yeah, they have. They actually are very nice uh, flexibility and durability there with the player mats. There is a series of of the uh, the chits here, and uh, I'm not going to take the time to punch them all out, but I will just lay them out and show you all the different uh, cardboard chits that come with the game. And I will. Uh, I'm going I'm to. I'll punch one out here. I'll show you the uh, the thickness and the quality of of the component. Uh, it's a nice solid durable there, nice and thick. Yep, and it passes the. It's uh, so I find sometimes you can actually get ones that are a bit thinner. Not in this case. They didn't. Uh, they didn't. Didn't uh, spare any. Uh, ex uh, they didn't cut any corners on the components as far as the chits go. So uh, very well done there. I have to say I'm overall quite impressed with uh, so far what. Uh, what is all inside the box here has been a fair bit of uh, components to uh, to uh, navigate through and look at here. So that's great. Uh, next, we're going to come to the cards, and they are not short on cards. There is three massive decks of cards here, and uh, yeah, there is a fair bit of cards to be had there. So that's great for. Uh, gameplay and variety so i'm gonna i'm gonna open one up real quick here just show you one card we won't go through all of them of course but um so just if you're wondering you haven't played arc nova before or, or heard of the game into uh, you're basically planning a, and building a modern scientifically managed zoo and you're trying to support a different conservation project so that is kind of the goal um if you're interested uh, in the, what uh, the geek is saying about it, they give it a uh, weight or complexity rating of 3.72 out of 5. So slightly uh, on the a little more challenging end, but not uh, terribly difficult. The cards, though, uh, getting back to the cards here, uh, good quality, uh, good resistance. Uh, basically, what you you a typical uh, playing card uh, from uh, any game you would have there. It's um, about standard there. They're not. Uh, not anything special, but nothing uh, that uh, is uh, left for, for uh, or lacking there. So let's take a look at the main game board here real quick. And we will try to fit. There are a fair bit of components here. And this game board, it is a three-piece component here, and it is a little bit big. We're just going to have to resituate things here to get it all organized on the table. Have you have a, get a good look at it. So you can see it's quite long and narrow. Uh, yeah, like I said, three different component sections on the game board. So the game board does not disappoint in any way. It is uh, quite sharp looking. And uh, it definitely uh, seems that it's going to be very durable. Last thing and another really, really impressive part 
of uh, what they've done. Oh, and I, one, one more thing I just noticed. I should just flip the board over. Oh, and there is a second, uh, a backboard as well uh, for uh, different gameplay there as well. So there's, it's actually a two-sided board, which is kind of cool. Lastly, at the very bottom of the box, there are two plastic uh, containers uh, with lids. And very handy. I love when games have the foresight to do this kind of thing for people wanting to play. So well done uh, to the designers and those that uh, put this game together. So that is Arc Nova. And I am certainly looking forward to getting further into this game and really giving it a, a, a playthrough and a review and uh, some maybe strategy tips along the way. So stay tuned for that as well. This has been Legendary Tactics.